little train amphitheater in Nimes. Apparently, the best preserved example. Let's go find out. We slept somewhere in or near Cannes last night. Um, we were trying to make it to Nice, but tiredness and the time got the better of us. And uh, we saw a campsite, so we just stopped. We are trying to do Monaco today. which is in the south of France. Um, yesterday we went to Monaco. It's alright. Alright. It's full of people and there was a boat show on. Um, but today we're gonna start the grand route through the through the Alps. So at this point we're the furthest away and we're gonna turn around and head back. Yesterday we was in Monaco, today we're in Menton. And we're gonna head up this route which goes all through the Alps. Through the Alps, through the Alps. We'll probably stay here tonight. Barcelonette. Something like that. So that's the plan. So we made it to the Alps. And that over there in Italy. Afternoon. Uh, we've come to Artsina. Um, we've come off the Grand Route through the Alps and into Italy to an abandoned ski resort with chairlifts and stuff. And the reason is about four years ago, some Austrian group of artists made a big knitted rabbit they put on top of a mountain. Corniglio Gigante. These big rabbits. Apparently it's over this mountain. So we're going there. On the way up the mountain, we met an Italian farmer who didn't speak any English. And through the art of mime, he made us understand that the rabbit was dead. We reached the top of the mountain and it's dead. And it's not pink anymore. That's his right ear. That's his left ear. This is its face. That's its mouth. Its legs are down there. It's quite a humanoid rabbit. It's got arms and legs. They used to be pink, and those are clouds. But you're closing in, so we probably better go. Oh man, it's funny. 